Hi, Three. everybody. <clears throat> I, I jump into this lumber session. The purpose of uh, lumber drying is to produce dry lumber for construction materials uh, and, and etc. by drying fresh lumber and, and uh, using these, these drying kilns or tunnels for that. Uh, this is very, very critical and important uh, production uh, phase because if the lumber is not dried well it may cause an unequal, unequal shrinkage or cracking inside the material for example which makes this this lumber much weaker and in worst cases you are not able to use that material at all if you have a very bad drying drying process uh, in our system, the very fine uh, water droplets produced uh, our, our systems, uh, they are giving the more equal uh, distribution and faster moisturization in the, in the lumb, lumber. It means that the density, uh, density of the water droplets, it's, it's much uh, thicker uh, and, and it's easier for, for these droplets to, to reach all, all lumber surfaces, even they, they are located in, inside this, uh, this, this lumber stuck. stuck. Uh, and um, uh, and uh, in order to, to uh, prevent damages, uh, it, it's important that you can control the air humidity all the time during this drying, drying process. There are different technologies for, for this like uh, steam it's a rather old system it's complicated needs a lot of energy then there's a little bit more simple system low pressure water mist where you're typically spraying water on the lumber stack uh, with, with uh, five six bar something like this and then we have this uh, latest system uh, high pressure water mist what we have now used uh, last 20 years in, in many places. Now we can jump to the next slide, please. Right here we have some examples, pictures in the left hand. We have a, a, this, this typical uh, drying kilns and, and tunnels. I think that all professionals following this, this uh, sending can, can recognize these buildings. In the right hand, we have this latest application, this wood heat treatment. It's basically the same like uh, trying kill. Uh, the only difference is that they are using very high temperatures inside over 200 degrees. And, and uh, the gray uh, flying uh, steam there above the picture, you, it's uh, this water mist which are sprayed in this picture into the chamber. This is a demonstrated picture, but it shows very well how, how it looks, this, this uh, uh, water mist inside. And of course, there are fans which are rotating this water, water mist when this, this chamber is in real action. Now we can jump to the next one. Uh, this is something, uh, some, some information of this trying procedure how it goes in, in basics. Uh, in the left hand, we have the high pressure model and, and the right hand, we have this low pressure model. If, if you follow these uh, uh, different colors, there are red, red line here in the start of the process where you are heating up, up the, the lumber. And, and uh, with uh, high pressure, uh, systems you can do it much faster because you can regulate much, much uh, more exact way this this uh, moisture uh, this this humidity level inside the kiln, and and uh, it's it's needed because the the temp temperature is transferred into the lumber much easier if you have the right humidity all the time. That's that's why this is a faster than low pressure which is not reaching, the big droplets are not reaching all the 
surfaces of the lumber. Uh, then we have this, uh, this, uh, uh, this, these horizontal lines in the between the red and blue one. This is a drying process. These curves are wet and dry temperatures. And, and you can see also that, uh, that the high pressure uh, model is faster than low pressure model. Then we are coming to this blue area, which is called uh, stabilization, where the, it's important that when you are, it's basically you are cooling down the uh, lumber inside the kiln. And it's, uh, it's uh, vital that you follow the uh, humidity level always so that the outside uh, surface of the wood is more wet than inside, inside the wood. Uh, otherwise you are cracking the wood and also it means that when you are able to make this much uh, faster way, it saves time and the quality is much better. So uh, basically, uh, if, if you are using this, this uh, high pressure system, it's, it's very eff effective moisturization and it takes, uh, it takes uh, less, less time and, and the word uh, this, this uh, quality of, of lumber is, is uh, much better because you can keep always the, this, this humidity level in optimum level. So, so basically these benefits are between the this high and, and low pressure rates, it's time and better quality. Now we can change the slide again. So um, if we are comparing these, uh, these, uh, these features, uh, we can see that the capex is uh, uh, in high pressure systems, it's low, especially when we are comparing it against uh, steam. Uh, of, uh, the, the control of the water amount, it's excellent with our system. We have heard a lot of these positive statements uh, for example, if you are adding a steam, it's nearly impossible to control. You have to, you have to know basically how much you have to add. You can follow it so easy. Also with low pressure, it's difficult to control because you are adding so much water in, in one time and it takes a long time before you see the results. Ramp uh, rate, it's fast. And also the stabilization time is fast. And of course, in, in lumber business also, and as in other, other businesses also, time is money. So we can reach a lot of savings by faster process. Uh, 